a man they call John of God, a miracle healer. He's not a medical doctor, though he has been known to perform surgeries without anesthesia and in some cases thousands of miles away from his subject. Oprah Winfrey spoke to one medical doctor who was a skeptic and is now a believer. Just go to bed, wear white, just wear everything is white, well, drink the water, uh -huh. take the herbs, yeah. and, uh, and don't have sex, and don't, uh, don't eat spicy food, uh, and don't eat pork. Um, but basically, that's, that's it, okay? So I did everything. I went to bed, I, you know, I got up. Were you skeptical as I am right now? Yes. Because this sounds yes. crazy. Uh, I know. <laughs> Gail Thackeray is a co-star in the documentary John of God, Just a Man, and she joins us now. For people who are saying the same thing as Oprah, this sounds crazy, why do you believe? Thank you so much for having me on. Um, well, I was already a medium and doing teaching uh, spiritual healing, and I'd heard about this guy, and I thought, well, it's interesting, but I don't have an ailment. But I ended up going down there and had just amazing experiences. And I would talk to people and they would say, oh, well, I had cancer five years ago and I was healed. And I'd say, well, why do you come now then if you're healed? Why did you come back? And they said, it's, it's more than that. It's almost like it's, a, it's an opening that people uh, get this kind of new lease on life, this new direction and um, open up more spiritually. And, and so I think people go um, not really just to have physical experiences, although they do. Many people go there that doctors have given up on and you know people will go in wheelchairs, they've got um, Alzheimer's, arthritis, all kinds of things, but also um, he helps with other things like relationship problems or um, uh, financial issues, everything that we have in life. No, and it's sorry to interrupt, that clip that we just heard, that is a physician himself. Uh, I understand he had leukemia. I don't know if you know too much about his story. He had leukemia and now claims that he doesn't. Yes, anymore. absolutely. Yes. Um, he actually received a distance healing. He didn't even go down there. He sent a photograph down there and was healed. And I take people to Brazil. I've had many people with ailments like cancer that have been cured. He was also on traditional meds, though, was he not? How yes. do we know that it wasn't the meds that cured him? Well, and you know, uh, uh, John, John of God says, don't give up your regular medicine. You know, so do, how do keep we know doing, that it's not the regular medicine that's doing the, the work it's supposed to be doing? Well, I know, I know I've experienced people that the doctors have completely given up on them. I've taken people that we didn't even think they were going to make it on the plane. The, the, the medical community has said, there's nothing more we can do. You're going on hospice and you've got a few days to live. And they've gone on an airplane. They've managed to get down there. And two weeks later, they're up walking around. And the tumor, the ailment is, is disappearing. It's going away. And then the medical community, of course, says, well, you know, miracles do happen. You never know. But John O'God says, keep taking your medicine. He says he doesn't actually cure anybody. He says, you know, it is uh, God that heals. So can anyone go down there? Yes, anybody can go down to Brazil, but he's actually coming here to Toronto, so we're very excited. Next week, March uh, 15th, 16th, and 17th, he's going to be at the Metro Convention Center. So you don't have to go all the way to Brazil. You can come for, uh, for one day or for, for all three days. Every day you get to go in front of John of God and you hold in your mind what you need. So there'll be people there that have you know, major illnesses, ailments, people in wheelchairs, but there'll be a lot of people that go just to kind of open up and experience it um, because it's gonna help with everything that we have in life. It's kind of like an energy shift. Like, you know, we collect energy around us and we bring in problems to our life and it can help do that. So people go in front of them and they hold in their mind what it is. Now naturally many people are skeptical. What about, you know, people think that he's trying to make money. Uh, people in Brazil, if you go to visit him, does he charge? It's completely free. They, uh, they work by donation and they do sell crystals. There is a small charge at the convention center, but that's really because we have to rent the entire convention center and bring him, bring him over. But he wants the healing to be available and free to everybody. Gail, yeah, we were just showing some Im images that maybe our viewers will not understand if they don't know too much about John of God. If we could just show that B-roll again, and, and there's one where he's performing, I guess, a cornea shaving is what it's referred to. A knife to the eyeball. Okay, well, um, he says that the healing is done invisibly. So as you go up in front of him, he changes your energy. But some people say, well, I just can't wrap my head around that. You know, I have a lump or I have a bone that needs to grow back. You, you know, you need to actually touch me or do something. And so for those people in Brazil, he will actually take a volunteer, maybe one or two a day, and he'll do a physical surgery on them. And, you know, he could scrape their eye because they've got backache. He could put something up their nose. 
who knows what he's going to do. And he says that's not really the healing, that's to show people. And he'll do this with no anesthetic. And you do, when you see this, and you can come and you can stand right there, and he has medical doctors standing next to him watching, and, and you see these surgeries and you go, if he can do that on somebody then, you know, he can heal me. But I must admit, I, even when I did the documentary, there was still a little thought in the back of my mind, is this all positive thinking? Yeah. And so I, I woke up one day and said, you know, I wonder what it feels like to have a physical surgery. And so I actually went to General Guard and said, I'd like to know what it feels like. Can I uh, experience it for the documentary? Well, asking what it feels like was probably the wrong thing um, because he did do the eye scraping on me. And I had heard from everybody, oh, you don't feel anything, there's no pain, <laughs> right? And so he did the eye scraping and at first I felt absolutely nothing. And then I felt everything. And it was, it was agony. And I'm, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, this guy is really scraping my eyeball with a knife. This is, this is oh crazy. My goodness. And then I heard in my mind, okay, now you can have this spiritual anesthetic. And the pain completely went away. I could feel, because I could feel the fan on my eye, I could feel his fingers, but no pain. And that for me, I think, was a real turning point that, okay, now there really is something spiritual going on here. It's not just positive thinking. I so want to believe in miracles, and I, I, I am so supportive of the idea, but does he help everybody who comes to see him? Do they all get cured? No, I wouldn't say that everybody gets cured, but a great percentage of them do. Um, what, do we know what percentage? Uh, he doesn't actually publish figures, but I would say maybe 80 or 90 percent. I personally, and there are people going that, you know, the medical community has completely given up on. But I must stress that it's not just about the physical healing. It's very much more about the a life opening. So, you know, people that are just kind of down on their life, just don't have any direction, they've got financial issues. Those things lift too. A lot of people feel more connected with their relatives in spirit. It is. It's hard to explain, but it really is an amazing opening. Gail, are you ever concerned that by spreading this message, you might be reaching people who believe in it, maybe give up their medicine, feel that you know, John of God will heal me, and that you'll do more damage than good? We explain very clearly that you are not to give up any medicine, and that also spiritual healing can work through your doctors. You know, perhaps your medicine's not working, you don't have the right doctor, but when you have a spiritual healing, perhaps now you find the right doctor. For instance, I had a lady that had fourth stage cancer. Um, it was inoperable, it was liver cancer, and it was completely spread throughout her liver. And she was going for medical treatments, and she gave me a photograph to take. And I hadn't even gone. I put the, the photograph in my little triangle that I have, and I kind of said to the spirits, she's coming, can you start working on her? A week later, she went back to her doctors for her regular tests, and he said, this is amazing, but all your cancer cells have encapsulated into three tumors, and now we can do surgery and remove them. And so the medical doctors took out the, the tumors, and she's completely cancer-free. Mm. Interesting. Gail, thank you so much uh, for sharing your story with us. You are the uh, host of the movie John of God, just a man and author of the book Spiritual Journeys, Visiting John of God. Thank you so much for being here. And if people want to come to the, the center, it's uh, johnofgodlive.com to get tickets.